Greetings, this is Gintian, and today we are playing on the Realm of Vastin. Today I want to show you some of the unique things about this server, so, and explain some of the lore and storylines that have been going on for over four years. And then we're going to start with the Church of the End. One common characteristic is purple in the windows. So that's how you find one of these or recognize one of these churches. Every town has a church of the end in it. Shot me twice. Where do you go? Oh, there it is. Of course, the purpose of the church is to provide an easy way to get to the end realm. And you come in and press this button, fall down, and you're transported to the top of the Church of the End. This structure is very tall, and I have no idea how long it took to build this, but you open these gates, and this is really cool, definitely worth watching. That's always fun. And now you know why it was built so tall. They wanted to make the fall as long as possible. And here we are at the end portal. Now this is a ship of the end. Going back that way is back to the way to get out of the end. And going this way takes you to the Enderman farm. Okay, let's go, and while we're at it, I'll tell you some of the lore. Essentially, the basic storyline is that the overworld is at war with the nether. We have churches of the end, which you see take you to the end, and they also have churches of netherism which is where the worshippers of those people that are on the side of the nether, essentially. I have a quest to build a church of the nether, which I want to build in Treville, where my castle is. Now the reason I came here is I needed to replace the anvils. Maybe not that anvil. I don't know what that is. But I used up the two anvils that were here last time I was here. There they are. One, and there. I'll go ahead and take this one back. But since I used those up, I wanted to replace them. That way I can be a responsible server mate. And do my share to maintain common resources. Of course, I've been here a lot because I'm constantly having to re-enchant new armor. So that's the Ender Ender, or the Enderman farm. And now let's head back to my base. To do that, we have to leave the Realm of the End, which is this direction. Let me take some of this time to tell you about the lore surrounding the castle Grey Towers, which is the one I am upgrading and have been working on as my personal base. As lore will have it, Kit Garretton is a member of the ruling council of the town of Treville and is the owner of Grey Towers Castle which has been renovated and expanded over the years, corresponding to the success of the family mining business. More of that in a minute. Let's get out of the end realm. And we're back to my spawn point, which is, of course, the bed that is located in the mining area outside of my castle, just north of it. 
this is where I plan to build the Church of Netherism. The lore around this is that the Church of the Nether is generally frowned upon by most other citizens, and this church was hidden with a very small hidden entrance that brought you down to the church, and this was opened up and discovered later when the mining operation started in Treville, north of my castle. When I started mining this area, we stumbled across the church. Once I complete this build and have it all completed, I will show you how I go about getting the points for finishing the quest and what I can do with those points on this server. Now, as I was explaining earlier, the lore around this castle didn't exist when I picked it as my base. However, the name Kit Garrington, not Garrington, Garrington, was listed as a member of the ruling council. I picked that name and fit the lore in to surround my castle. Essentially, while having no interest in ruling directly, Kit Gary Gar I should have picked a name I could pronounce. Garretton is a steadfast supporter of Miles Fecklin, the owner of the largest business in Treville, and head of the ruling council of Treville. Kit owns the Great Towers Castle, where he lives and the mining business just north of Treville. Kit is known for his extravagant taste in rare stones and woods found originally in the nether, as well as his flamboyant style, such as his favorite mode of transportation, a large red, yellow, and black balloon that he uses to travel from Port Bray to his home in Treville. A well-guarded secret and standard lore is that Treville is where the newest, latest war with the Nether began. A portal was accidentally opened and the pigmen rushed through and stole obsidian, which allows them to build no more portals and attack the overworld from other locations. While it's never been proven, Kit and his family, the Garretton clan, are active members of the Netherism Shrine. Proximity to the shrine and the abundance of materials from the Nether found at Grey Tower's castle might lead many to make such a observation but as again it is so far not been proven the mining area is referred to garretton mine number 11 okay we're back at the top of my castle and i am hunting phantoms and I have created this with the cobwebs to facilitate that. Membranes, it's what phantoms drop and they can be used to repair elytra and on this server they can be used to make or create elytra with a custom recipe and it takes seven of them 
seven membranes to create an elytra from scratch. One of my favorite features. When I have time and a collection of membranes, I like to take the opportunity to craft up several elytra because the way I seem to go, I often need replacements for the elytra that I already have. Uh, they tend to get lost when I die. I also want to take this name tag. I have a pet of sorts. In fact, there's one of its droppings. Where did the chicken go? They're constantly in the way when you don't want them around, and then when you go looking for them, the chickens wander off. Hopefully, he's still up here on the roof. There it is. And henceforth, he shall be known as Obsidian. Obsidian the chicken. And now he won't despawn. I really need to create a small chicken farm. Adding a lot of chickens would help cut down on mob spawning in my castle. However, that does not protect you from phantoms. The other thing is the recipe for elytra. Simply put, that's it. Just, just like making pants, except with membranes. That allows me to craft an elytra. Which is something I think is awesome. Could you imagine me trying to fly, in the, fly around in the end? I would die for sure. Some time has passed. Next we go to an anvil. And I can take the elytra, add unbreaking three. Then I will add mending. And that elytra is ready to go. Ready to use. And will be a backup for the next time I probably die. That's all we have time for in this episode. So I would like to thank you very much for watching. And goodbye.